The director of football journeyman with me, Foggy Place on FM21. Today we're taking on Ajax, who we got in the second knockout round of the Europa League. As you can see from the score in the first game, it ended 4 4. It was mental. Um, yeah, it was, it was, I was very annoyed because we were on top for a good portion of the game. Um, I think they beat us on XG, but we should have definitely, definitely been able to do the business over them. Um, but since you were here last, which was the Wolfsburg game, we lost to Borussia Mönchengladbach in the Pokal. We were just shocking. Then we got absolutely demolished by Hertha. They were so much better than us. Uh, even though they scored five, Ulrich... Still managed to get a 6.9. The 17-year-old goalkeeper is fantastic. We then played Stuttgart. Beat them 2-0. It was a comfortable game. Nothing too major happened in it. Uh, then against Mainz. Muller, Bella Kachup and uh, Namandi Collins getting goals for us in that game. Hildenbrand against the Soul team. Had, oh, he was fantastic. Hildenbrand is such a good player. Then, as I said, Ajax... 4-4 we were two up within the first four minutes they scored uh, in the 22nd and again in the 45th minute was a Carlos Gonzalez trying to show off the fact that he should be in the Sp Spain team he's going to be in the Spain team anyway because he's our best striker like he's the best Spanish striker that we ha that I, I know of that exists in the world but then we kind of imploded um oh no sorry Matumbo scored in the 38 minutes we were it was 3-2 at halftime. We scored in the 66th minute after they made it 3-3. And then Carlos Gonzalez scored again to make it 4-4 in the 77th minute. Um, Al Salman unfortunately picked up an injury in the game. Um, Eigler played so very well. But unfortunately we lost. Um, and then we played Borussia Mönchengladbach in the league again. Exact same attendance at their stadium. And they demolished us. De La Fuente was just... Amazing. Sasha Ulrich did not have a good game, which was really unfortunate. But this guy, he's played five, conceded eight, kept three clean sheets. I think he's going to be fantastic. He is wanted by a whole bunch of teams. So it's going to be difficult to keep a hold of him. But we'll see what happens. So as I said, Ajax should be an interesting game. Um, we have a couple of... Okay, just... I thought it was game day, or time for the game. So... Okay, so as it is, Inter have gone through knocking out Genk. All the goals scored in the second leg. Schalke knock out Napoli after they won the first, first leg 4-0. So Napoli really left it till the end. Quite unfortunate for them. Club Bruges have knocked out Sevilla. Did not expect that. Leeds smashing Sporting to go through 4-1 on aggregate. Um, as you can see, Sociedad. Have beaten Liverpool in the first leg. Man City are pretty much guaranteed. With a 5-1 away win against Zenit. And we have four away goals against Ajax. So it shouldn't be. We should be able to do this. We have swapped formations. Uh, because the 4-2-3-1 was. We were struggling with it a little bit. I am considering going back to it at some point. But we played this against. Um. Ajax in the first leg and it kind of worked so it's Avani in goal Naguera and Koops as our wingbacks Munoz and Tapsova as our centre-backs with Hillemran and Kulikov as our central midfield Sanyang and Schultz out wide with Muller and Eigler starting up front we have a couple of injury and suspension issues for this game uh, Bella Kachap is suspended Al Samani uh, no, Al Salman is injured like I said from the first leg for another 11 days not ideal um, Ripamonte is injured, but he's not registered for this game, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, Ulrich, also unregistered, kind of regretting that decision now. Um, and Mandy Collins, also not registered. Mm. Uh, the only reason these changes have been made, pretty much all of those are because players aren't registered. Um, but we really did not play well in the last game, and we were, we were very open shall we say, in the game against 
Ajax in the first leg. They have Virgil van Dijk playing at centre back today. Uh, van Hoover, Ayer, and Gonzalez. Gonzalez is a fantastic player. That is, mm. Brinkman had um had a decent game in the first leg. I'm hoping that he doesn't have the same again because I really don't want to. Uh, I don't want to have to play against a keeper who is in quite good form. Ajax are top of the Eredivisie. You would say you'd expect it. But at the same time, AZ won last year's title. And the season before was won by Herenveen. So they're not the dominant force that we're used to in real life in Holland. Um, they're second or third in, or they were second or third last year. And Sanyang can't get a pass Brinkman. Um, highlight starts again from an attack for us. Hillenbrand can't get it across to an, uh, a Bayer player, but Hillenbrand steals it off the striker. And Schultz, Matthias Schultz, having had um, what's my assistant manager's name? Schieb, Schiebe, yeah, Schiebe, um. Saying in the press that he wasn't good enough to be getting into the first team. And he was going to have to wait his turn. Comes out the next game and absolutely smashes it. Into the back of the net. We have taken the lead. This is quite delightful. Um, Ajax do however. If we draw this game. Ajax need to score more than four. So. As long as we. Don't concede four goals. We're fine. Or as long as we don't concede five goals. We're fine. If we, if we can just keep up with Ajax, score as many goals as they do, we'll be flying. Sanyang gets a shot blocked. Hillenbrand runs it out to Naguera and the highlight. Peters out as if nothing ever happened. Um, Munoz. Been disappointing recently. His abilities are coming into question. And... In the Spanish team, he is only a two and a half star player. Still going to make it into the team because he is my, he's my boy. What is Tabsoba doing at left back? Gonzalez just makes our defense look silly. Like I just don't understand why Tabsoba is over here. Like that's Coop's player. Gonzalez just back heels it and Ferdy, or yeah, Ferdy just. Slots it into the back of the net. Grand and happy with himself. I know we're still winning. But one all. Is not good enough. Um, I'm going to thrash my arms. I am far from pleased. Uh, Hillenbrand. Need you to improve buddy. Who else? Uh, Sanyang. You've been absolutely terrible. Not happy with your performance. Well, hmm. Sanyang really is struggling. Don't really have anyone. I could put Egler, Egler there. Don't really want to take Egler. Mm. Mm. Right, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. Um, I'm going to demand more from the lads though. It is 5-5 five five on aggregate. We are still winning on away goals. So it's not the worst thing in the world. But that was just a speculative pass by Naguera. Virgil van Dijk, who I would imagine at this stage can barely run. Because he is 37 now. You'd imagine he'd struggle. But Ferdy puts it in the back of the net. We uh, we can't afford to be uh, to be doing this, lads. Lads. We won the uh, Europa Conference League last season. Let's try and... Oh, they're going super defensive now. Kiana Hoover. Oh, Gonzalez is true. Gonzalez. Oh, thankfully, Havani stopped that one from going into the back of the net. This is uh, not ideal. Really, really not ideal. Birdie with a, f with a corner. I was going to say free kick. Whips it in. Hillenbrand heads it clear. And Eigler. Goes for a throw. Okay, I was afraid that, that was going to pop up and be like, oh, penalty. 
thankfully it hasn't we are going to okay we're gonna make change we're gonna make changes uh, it's not really working at this current moment uh, we're gonna go for a four three three uh deep lane playmaker actually you can stay as mozilla mozilla and we're gonna bring on Overton for Schulz. We're going to go three complete forwards. Or, yeah, and we're going to actually put Overton up front. Bring on Matumbo in central midfield. Yeah. This is not ideal, lads. Come on. Come on. Coops with the throw to Matumbo. Eigler. We have three strikers up front who have a combined probably 20 for finishing maybe maybe 25 actually it's probably 25 taps over gets it to hillenbrand hillenbrand what's he doing gets it to naguera back to hillenbrand gets across my tumbo shoot shoot my tumbo get in my tumbo puts it into the back of the net We are going to Auckland Coops with a throw. We actually, I just thought, if we do this, that makes a bit more sense, I think. Uh, Glenn Coops is dying, but we don't have a left back on the bench. Munoz, I feel like he's going to get sent off. So we're going to bring on Lika, or Lika. Coops, why is two of my players just standing here? Eigler, Kulikov, oh it's hit one of the defenders, gets cleared but Naguera has picked it up, or going to pick it up, gets it forward, Muller heads it down for Overton, Overton turn, oh what a goal by Keen Overton, yeah. get in, I apologise if you're listening with headphones, I looked over just as I did that and uh, I can see it's gone into the red, hasn't quite peaked but this game, this game is quite interesting. We are 7 6 up on aggregate. Kulikov whips it in. Licka gets cleared, and then one of our players almost gets it into the back of the net, but unfortunately he can't. Actually, I'm curious how old is Virgil van Dijk? 37 years old. Four stamina. Eight acceleration, six pace, but 17 jumping reach. The man is just tall. Kean Overton with another goal. It's 4 2 on the night. Licka with the header on. Um, I think Licka's 6 1. So if Balakachup or Tabsoba were one of the two players that got any end of that, they probably would have just gone for goal. But we've managed to turn. We turn, turned it around, having been down just after half time. Maybe, maybe 4 3 3 is the way we need to go. Um, I'm going to give I'm going to say to Sanyang I am furious it's dropped his um, body language to just composed just wasn't good enough really really was not good enough uh, Man City ended up beating Zenit 7-1 Leipzig knocked out Porto and Liverpool have been knocked out by Sociedad that is crazy I did not expect Sociedad to knock out Liverpool of all player of all teams. Uh, the draw is tomorrow for the Europa League quarter and semi-finals. So we're going to watch those and see how we get on. Um win the next round the board please with our performance. We received a million quid. Overton came off the bench and got a brace, which is fantastic. Coops is banned for the next match, which is delightful. Oh, we're getting a or affiliates. Who do we take? Uh, so far it looks like Maribor. Is the one we are. Yeah. We're going to take Maribor. So we should be getting some Slovenian players. Within the next couple of years. Coming through our youth intake. We're going to have. Hopefully the draw will pop up soon. So we can have a look and see. Who we get in the quarters. And the semi-finals of the Europa League.
there's the only team I'm really afraid of that's left is probably Man City. But then again, they should not be in the Europa League. Um, to begin with, really. When do we get the draw? Draw. Whole bunch of players have just retired. Just sad. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Right. So it is us, Inter, Man City, Sociedad, Schalke, Leipzig, Leeds and Bruges. I would like Bruges. So Leeds out first. They've been drawn against Sociedad. Maybe Sociedad can knock out another English team. Manchester City against, I'm going to say Bayer Leverkusen. Leipzig, because it's two big teams against each other. Inter, go on, do Schalke, get Schalke. Okay. So we, we do get Club Bruges, but at home for the first leg. Could be worse. And for the semi-finals, Inter or Schalke to play Man City or Leipzig. Leeds or Sociedad to play Bayer Leverkusen or Club Bruges. So could have been worse. Club Bruges, a pretty good team. We should be able to do the business stuff. I would imagine. Uh, so the next episode will be the second leg against Club Bruges. How are you getting on in Belgium? Third. Interesting. Um, Andrew Lecter down in eighth. I was looking at the, the leagues recently just to have a look to see kind of what was going on in the world of football. And I noticed Andrew Lecter, I think they sacked their manager as well. Um, yeah, they sacked Vincent Company. Again. <laughs> so he's a... Uh, oh, Craig Bellamy was their caretaker. What? Craig Bellamy. And now Henning Berg has taken over. Yeah, the Belgian league's turning upside down a little bit. Which definitely is interesting. But yeah, we're going to be taking on Bruges in the next episode. Hopefully, we can string some decent results together before then. So we've scored lots of goals, which is... Not something we've been doing an awful lot of this season. But we've been conceding lots of goals too. Which is definitely something we do a lot of. We're not very defensively stable. Uh, but league wise we are sitting 5th. I just realised I didn't actually show you that. We are sitting 5th in the league. We are 2 points behind Bayern Munich. We're having a bit of a resurgence. Struggling ever so slightly. We are 6 points behind Hertha. 8 points behind Dortmund. And 12 behind Leipzig so it's pretty safe to say we're not going to win the league uh, we could still finish as low as 16th which can't imagine that's going to happen but that is the end of the episode if you have enjoyed please do make sure to leave a like comment subscribe share with all of your friends and I will see you in the next one for the game against Club Rouge thank you very much for watching fellas and I will see you in the next one bye